Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of From Shulqa TV. Today's stories include Registration launch for Sudanese stranded in the UK The US approves nomination of first Sudanese ambassador after two decades 100 new cases of infection with corona bring total number to 778 The Sudanese Embassy in London has announced the start for the count and registration of the Sudanese who were visiting the United Kingdom and were stranded and unable to return to the country due to the closure of airports for the confrontation of the spread of coronavirus and who have the desire to return home according to the procedures and arrangements that will be set by the Supreme Committee for Health Emergencies. The embassy has set a number of requirements according to the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies regarding those wishing to return, that their return should be at their expense. The competent authorities in Sudan will make the necessary arrangements for the establishment of quarantines and the required details and agreements to the quarantine procedures and the adherence to everything issued by the health authorities in this regard. The U.S. State Department approved the nomination of Sudan's first ambassador to the United States after more than two decades, said the Foreign Ministry in Khartoum. Khartoum said Washington accepted the nomination of Nuruddin Sati as Ambassador Extraordinary of the Republic of Sudan to the United States of America. The approval comes within the framework of the normalization of Sudanese-American diplomatic relations and its upgrading to the ambassadorial level after being at the Chargeda Affairs level for more than a quarter of a century due to the policies of the former regime. The chairman of the Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamadouk made various discussions on the health situation in the country and the effects of the coronavirus pandemic on public hospitals, as well as the discussion of a number of reports on the situation in different states. They both expressed deep appreciation for the great role played by the medical and health caterers in the country under the difficult working conditions and the necessity of providing them with all working aids they need, stressing on the importance of resuming the provision of medical services to all patients in hospitals with taking the necessary preventive and protective measures for medical caterers. The joint media mechanism between the sovereign ministers' councils and the forces for freedom and change held its second meeting headed by the member of the sovereign council, Muhammad al faqi Suleiman, head of the committee. The meeting discussed ways to develop the official media and the creation of new communication channels that provide a speed for the flow of information and to ensure the safe provision of news from its sources to the citizen. The chairman of the committee has called for the control of the government discourse in the two councils of sovereign and ministers and the forces of freedom and change to achieve the goals of the revolution. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamadouk and his Ethiopian counterpart, Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed, discussed during a telephone call the bilateral relations between the two brother The new cases were registered in the states of Khartoum, 86 cases, North Kurdufan, 8 cases, Al Gadarif, 3 cases, Sinar, 2 cases, Al Jazeera, 1 case. The new registered cases announced today brings the total number of cases of the infection with coronavirus since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan to 778 cases, including 45 deaths. The head of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, affirmed the Sudan's support to the work of the non-aligned movement to confront the coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19, by providing relevant data and information. Lieutenant General al-Burhan, in his address to the summit of the non-aligned movement via video conferencing, held under the motto, United to Face COVID-19, has called on the countries affected by the pandemic to show a spirit of solidarity to be able to face the various pressures 
that resulted from it, renewing the Sudan support to the efforts of the World Health Organization to address the pandemic and the technical support it has been providing to affected countries. The first undersecretary of the Ministry of Culture and Information, Rashid Saeed Yaqub, has praised the commitment of citizens in Khartoum state during the past two days to the general directives of the Supreme Committee for Health Emergencies regarding the measures to combat the corona pandemic by adhering to the curfew regulations. During his address to the national platform for the combat of the coronavirus, he noted, we have started to notice an increased commitment to the directives issued by the Ministry of Health and the security organs in regard to the measures for preventing the spread of corona, expressing appreciation to his behavior and its usefulness in helping to overcome the pandemic. And now we remind you with the headlines. Registration launch for Sudanese stranded in the UK. The US approves nomination of first Sudanese ambassador after two decades. Health registration of 100 new coronavirus cases. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. Thank you for following.